be me. 16 years old and home alone. Decide to walk around the house naked because it feels good. Spending some time in the kitchen eating some frosted flakes. I suddenly start to hear voices in the hallway. There's no escape for me. My only option is to hide in the tiny utility room attached to the kitchen. It's dark and hot in here. My dad and a group of builders walk into the kitchen. I vaguely remember something about him wanting to build new kitchen cabinets. I am completely trapped in this room. It is now one hour later. I need to pee and I need to do it now. Start searching around the room looking for something to pee in. There's a large plastic bottle still full of sangria from last night. Drink it all down in less than five minutes. It tastes absolutely disgusting, but my penis is ready to explode. Hastily shove some napkins into the bottle to mask the sound. MacGyver would be proud. Wiggle my little buddy into the bottle. The friction from the bottle wakes the little guy up a bit. Finally pee. I'll be damned if it wasn't the best pee of my life. Suddenly get a buzz from the sangria and accidentally squeeze the bottle. The suction from the bottle traps me inside of it. The more I try to wiggle out, the more stuck I become. I start feeling drowsy due to the alcohol, heat, and panic. Still trying to get the bottle off me for a few minutes. The struggle forces me to make some groaning noises. Did you hear that? Oh God, no. The door swings open and I'm greeted by five builders. They're all looking at a drunk, naked kid with a bottle attached to his penis. What the fuck? They all shout. I'm frozen from embarrassment and from being drunk. Two of them go looking for my dad while yelling that he's a kidnapper. I hear my dad scream. What the hell are you talking about? The face of my dad staring at me is an image I will never forget. That's my son, you idiot. All I can mumble out is, I'll explain later. The building crew and my dad watch me walk away in shame and silence. All the while, the pee inside the bottle is crashing against the sides as I walk, bouncing against my legs. It took me over an hour to remove myself. Every few minutes I hear the crew laughing hysterically at me from downstairs. Later that day, I explained to my dad what happened. He laughs too, but promises he won't tell anyone. Now, every Christmas, when my dad gets slightly drunk, he calls me bottleneck Brett in front of the family with a big grin on his face. The rest of the family spends hours trying to guess what that means, but he still hasn't told anyone.